Hello dolls and gent and welcome back to my channel and I'm coming at you with my makeup stash of the week. I have two powders that I'm going to be trying this week which you can see have barely been touched. The first one is a Cover FX powder and the second one is a BH Cosmetics Pro powder. This one is a lot lighter than this one. I usually use this for under eye highlight um, but I'm going to use it as a face powder today and I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to go with this Still a Stay All Day Foundation. I think this is the last time I'm going to use this and then I'm just going to trash it. It's too dark for me. I've tried to mix it several times. It doesn't mix well. I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to mix it with this Revlon Nearly Naked in Toast. And as you can see, that's a lot lighter. And this is in Warm 13. I picked it up from a makeup show. Um, about a year and a half or so ago. So this is going to be my last time trying to put that out and then I'm going to get rid of it. Um, using the NYX Concealer Palette, we're getting into the cooler months where I can use creamy concealers. It hasn't gotten totally cold yet, um, but I'm using this very sparingly. I'm not packing it on or picking it on and I am not using this as an under eye highlight. I am not doing an under eye highlight with the concealer at all. This is the only under eye highlight that I am doing. As you can see, I'm hitting pan. I'm actually mixing these two together and putting them under my eye. And it's enough highlight for me. And I don't have to worry about creasing. I don't have to worry about getting hot and creasing or anything like that. So I'm loving doing that for the summer months. When it starts getting really, really cold, then maybe I can go back to using a cream or a concealer under my eye. But just right now, I just I don't feel like it. It's too hot. Okay, I'm going to go down to my uh, personal cheek highlighter is going to be by, uh, I'm drawing a blank, Forever 21, I'm sorry, it's right there, Shimmer Powder. My contour is going to be this Shea Moisture contour here, but I'm also going to be contouring or bronzing and using this blush out of this Rihanna Limited Edition palette from MAC because as you can see, I haven't even rubbed out the name enough on this baby right here. So I'm also going to be using that. And before I go to fragrances, I am doing something new. I'm only picking two lipsticks, one nude and one pink. Only because I want to get use out of my lipsticks. I work five days a week. If you pick five lipsticks, you're only going to use one a week. And that's not enough usage for me. I'm picking two, a pink and a nude. Trying to go with a high end and a low end every time. And then I pick two glosses. Okay, so I have this uh, Too Faced pink here. I have a MAC gloss, and the MAC gloss is in Carousel. And then I have a Maybell uh, yeah, Maybelline pink in total. I'm sorry, Nude in Totally Toffee. And I have a Lorac gloss in Socialite. So that way, I can get more use out of my lipsticks. I'm either going to use one of these at least two to three times this week, with it being five days in a week. And who knows, I may mix the two together one day and see what I come up with. So I feel like you're going to get more use out of your lipsticks by picking less lipsticks to use. I was just going to do one all week, which I'm pretty sure would give me excellent usage. But I probably would go into withdrawals using one color all week. So we have a pink and we have a nude and I'm satisfied with that. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram of this Vince Camuto um, body mist. I'm starting to get perfumed body mist instead of just a regular like. Bath and Body Works body mist and stuff. If I do get one of those, I'm going to get the small bottle. I think the perfume body mist lasts longer, stay on you longer. I wore this yesterday. I love, love, love the smell. This is going to be my perfume of the week. I'm going to put it in my purse. I'm going to spray the heck out of this baby. I love it. Some of you said it was strong. It is, but I like to smell myself. I feel like if I can't smell myself, nobody can smell me. So I, I know it's strong. I love it. I am going to be wearing it. It's actually, if you're wondering, it's vanilla. It's sweet. It's a vanilla sweet scent. And it's not, to me, as strong as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be one of those, I have a headache by a couple of hours of wearing it. But no, it was not for me. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to use this new by Rihanna lotion just to bring it out some more as my lotion of the week. I will have to mix this with a regular lotion. Because you know, like, perfume lotions are really, really thin and don't last. I'm going to mix this with just a regular, regular lotion to make it thicker, make it stick, and make it adhere to my skin. So this is what I am going with this week. Each item that I will be using. I cannot wait to see what you ladies are going to be using in your Shop Your Stash for the week. 
and we're going to get another week of November started. Today is November 8th. I wish you all a happy week. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget if you're following, if you are sitting in my request box on Instagram, I need to know your Instagram name. I have a lot of people sitting there either because I don't know you or because you don't have a picture. You need to have a real picture on your Instagram. Please go below and tell me your Instagram name if you're sitting in my request to be an Instagram friend because I do post face of the day on there. 